Hello, Pisces. Rambler Mike here. Gonna play some tarot with you today. Thank you for tuning in one more time, my friends. I appreciate your time. I also appreciate you reaching out and touching that like button while you're thinking about it. And on the other side of the screen, huh, is that subscribe button. Thank you for touching that if you have not. Um, I appreciate it. Uh, it supports me considerably with just that little touching those buttons right there. Thank you for all that, my friends. And also, I always want to give a shout out to all my Pisces that have blessed me with donations. Many of you, thank you very much for all that. Appreciate it all, large or small. If you have blessed me with a donation, thank you, my friends. And a uh, big shout out to all my Pisces that have reached out to me for private readings. Uh, it's always a blessing to get to know you on a more personal level. Thank you for all that, everybody. Appreciate it. Uh, quick announcement. My next Sunday fun day will be July 7th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. And, uh, you know, just to let you know, you guys are the ones that are making Sunday fun day. Absolutely. Appreciate all the support with that as well. Uh, Sunday, uh, July 7th, 5 p.m. Eastern Time. All right. Let's play some cards right here. I'm going to go through my normal spew because, well, it gets me in my rhythm right here. So here we go. This reading will be for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus for the month of July 2019. First half of the month. These readings will be for love and relationships. Relationships of all kinds. Home, work, family. All that goodness that we have going on. I myself am going to be focusing on love. That's because old Ramblin loves to read for love. We all know there's no possible way this is going to be for every Pisces on the planet. Sun, moon, rising, Venus. So if this general reading resonates with you, run with it. Have fun with it. If it doesn't, have fun throwing it out. Mm -hmm. I'm a cross watch. As you know, you're welcome here. I love you guys. I want to remind you that even though I'll be saying Pisces a lot, these probably going to play out from your perspective. Source has a way of doing that with tarot, huh? They have a way of putting these together for whoever going to be viewing them. I mean, they know, all right? So I want you to fire up your intuition, psychic abilities, all those gifts that we all have. You know, because you can play out vice versa and all kinds of funness, huh? Let's all uh, use all those giftings that we all have as we play with this uh, fun, esoteric world of tarot today. Pisces has been shuffling your cards for a minute here. Let's go with this. Let's see what these cards have to say. I'm going to tune in. Hey, Terry Love Team. Pisces is here to play with us today. Let's tell them what they need to know most for their highest good. I want to thank you for clarity and accuracy on my part. Help me see. Help me speak what I need. Help Pisces see and hear what they need out of this reading today. Let's take all these amazing pictures and put together a nice, clear, accurate story for Pisces' highest good. Thank you so very much for that, love team. Cannot do this without you. Appreciate you, my guides. Here we go, Pisces. I'm cutting the deck. Pisces. First card out here is the Chariot. Chariot been showing up regularly in my spreads uh, as we're going into July right here. It's a major arcana. The book's... Always point to Cancer with this card. Oh, Ramblin, he sees Sagittarius with this card as well because of the two ponies right there. You know, this is a card of victory. Absolutely. Uh, it's a card of movement, movement forward. We're going to see what crosses it in a minute. But it definitely shows the two ponies right there, huh? The dark pony and the white pony all bucking in different directions and all of that. You know, with the rider weight, it has the yin-yang in the middle of the chariot right there. You know, a lot of us know who these ponies represent. One of those relationships, huh? But the charioteer is driving his chariot exactly where he wants it to go. He's not letting the wild ponies drive him all over the place. Because he's tuned in, tapped in, turned on to the divine. Let's see what crosses over top of a major arcana. The chariot and the heartbeat of your Celtic cross. Well, there's a new sheriff in town here. If my Pisces have been playing with some old wild Bronx right there, Seven of Wands coming up, crossing over top of it, fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. Seven of Wands is about uh, 
uh, somebody doing what's best for them. And I always put this in Pisces perspective. So this would talk with me about Pisces doing what's best for them, choosing the path that they're going to go down. You know, the old charioteer right there, setting his in intentions on what he wants to manifest. Because, well, you know, you can see that the charioteers coming out of the city right there, splashing through all these emotions of life, talks about pulling you out of your comfort zone and all of that. But you know, this is the new sheriff in town, somebody that uh, they're gonna do what's best for them. They don't care who likes it or who don't like it, all those sticky, sticky pokey people down there, huh? Uh, you know, it talks about uh, setting up boundaries in the situation, uh, doing what's best for you, maybe even blocking somebody at this particular point in time. A very interesting time as we're going to in July right here, you know it is, the eclipses. The first one's going to be on the second. The second eclipse, I believe, is on the 17th. They are in Cancer and Capricorn. <sighs> Looks like uh, if there's been, you know, a little... Oh, 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 thank you. And in the middle of all of that is uh, Mercury retrograde. Yay, huh? But anyway, we got seven of wands. There's a new sheriff in town. Doesn't look like uh, Pisces is going to be playing with these old bucking broncs, you know, changing, changing the world right here. Oh, and there it is at the base of the spread. There they are, the two cups, the two lovers, huh? Soulmate, twin flame, life partner. I always see this as that as well because of the bucking broncs right there. And, you know having to set your intentions about what you want to manifest with a, what we would call the divine relationship right here. You know, it shows the lovers looking into each other's eyes, huh? Two cups full of love. The old healing caduceus right up here. And once again, there's a lion right here. And in the Terra Illuminati, just saying there's a lion right here as well. And that's fire energy. Just saying right here, huh? But uh, definitely started off in the distant past, all kissy face, mm -hmm. love you, love you too, all that. Let's see where this goes right here, because it looks like the, the ponies may have got a little wild, and somebody went, we're not playing this game no more. Here we go. The wheel spinning around, huh? Karmic cycles going round and round, another major arcana, major life force card, the wheel of fortune. You know, it talks about the wheel spinning in a new direction, you know, karmic cycles, wheel spinning up, winner, winner, chicken dinner, the divine being involved in this situation. Uh, the wheel always deals with the four uh, fixed zodiacs, to say the least, uh, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus, Leo. Let's see what the wheel's spinning about right here. With the two lovers that have been on that old chariot ride. Well, damn it. We got a tower coming out right there. We got a tower because, you know, well, shows the two lovers falling from the tower. Shows Source striking it because, well, it obviously wasn't set on a firm foundation. I see that uh, there's somebody blocked somebody. Somebody's going to do what's best for them. They would feel that that would be getting in their chariot possibly, huh? And getting on down the road. And like I always say with these divine relationships, whatever they are, soulmate, twin flame, life partner. And man, if they're not treating you right, you know, you know, because love should be easy, huh? Love should be easy. Should be like breathing, love in and love out and all of that. We do have the tower on the top of the spread. Tower shows up because, uh, it's, it, you know, the power of the tower is because it shows us what we don't want. So that we can set our intentions and, and fly towards what we do want. Manifesting, seeing it the way that we want it to be. And, you know... Many times with these kind of relationships, there's just a vibrational difference between the two right here. One generally flying pretty high. One not flying so high, you know. And uh, it just slings them off in the bushes because you can't hold your vibration down forever to play with somebody even if there is this divine connection right here. It's really what I'm seeing right here with the tower on top of the spread, huh? Definitely gone through some karmic cycles here. And, you know, somebody set up a boundary. Somebody went, enough. 
Here we go, coming in in the immediate future. <laughs> what in the world's going on with this spread? Another major arcana showing up right here. The Hierophant. This is Taurus. It's also Aries with me. May mean something to you, may not. This is definitely, you know, this is the institution of the sacred. Definitely talks about the life lessons that we learn dealing with these committed relationships. It's interesting. It is a five, which is that number of contrast, you know. Contrast shows us what we don't want so we can focus on what we do want. It's definitely been some problems, some 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 trouble in paradise right here between these two, you know, and the life lessons that we learn from them, even if it is the institution of the sacred right here. This is some kind of a uh, divine relationship where it looks like somebody's being a knucklehead and somebody's just like had enough of it right here, even though, you know, has the potential to go all the way. i throw something on that in a minute. Ah, oh, there it is right there. You know, little fire energy showing up right here. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Could be Pisces because this is in your position right here. But what I see, you know, this is my little player card, huh? Hmm. Yeah, that can cause the tower to fall, even if it's supposed to be a divine relationship. You know what I'm talking about. Mm -hmm. That's what I felt the whole time. This is somebody, they're generally good looking, charismatic, full of fun, full of excitement. But it's a very non-committal energy. And, you know, with the hair fan showing up here, this would tell me that many of my Pisces, they would like a solid, committed relationship. You know, this right here. <laughs> Not the bucking Broncos in the tower. Because this is somebody, this, this is one of the bucking Broncos right here, you know. They generally come a-galloping in. Get what they want, huh? Dig through the refrigerator, get a little snack pack, run on out the door, bump -da -bump -da -bump -da 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 off to another world, huh? Yeah. Doesn't look like Pisces is going to play with that energy much too longer. Here we go. Exterior influence on the situation. Well, you know, I'm going to read the cards like I read them right here. We got a three that showed up, you know. That old player energy, regardless if that's a fire sign or not. You know who I'm talking about right here, Pisces. We got the old three cups. It should be some kind of celebration and all that, but we got three people in the card with the tower, with the the the, the buck, the little the little excited pony right there. Three three people sitting on top of this right here. You know, the chariot. Somebody getting in their chariot because you know they're not going to put up with the buck and bronco no more. Setting up boundaries. There's a new sheriff in town because, well, we got some parties that are going on here that possibly Pisces hasn't been invited to. Hmm. You know, it's supposed to go all the way, but the Hierophant is about the wisdom that comes out of these kind of committed relationships. You know, being streetwise and spiritual at the same time. Being the student and the teacher at the same time. Seeking out spiritual wisdom and guidance from others about committed relationships. You know, ones that are supposed to be, huh? Yeah, but somebody ain't figured that out yet. Oh, nine of wands coming up. There's my old wounded warrior. I'm really wondering if a lot of you Pisces may have some fire in your chart. Definitely have the old wounded warrior here in your hopes or fears position. Mm -hmm. This is the old warrior that's been through the battle, expecting more of the same. You know, but what don't kill you makes you stronger. See how strong that old Billy Badass light worker is right there. Definitely has these wands up around him. You know, but they are wands of passion. He has that one wand in his hand. You know, that's because the Hierophant's right there in Two of Cups. And, you know, this guy, he's got no quitting sense on Pisces. He's always about, well, one last push. Let's see if we can manifest something. Uh, this may have talked about a situation where somebody in the past that was a player uh, uh, broke up right here. 
or, 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 or Pisces fired them right there. It's interesting. Let me look at this a little more right here. And the, and, and the pinnacle came out, the Knight of Pinnacles. This can talk with me now about a situation in the past with two divines right here, the wheel spinning in an upward direction, sudden change coming in, sudden change with this person that could lead to a committed relationship that uh, with this old player energy right here, so this would be Pisces still watching them. You know, I'm talking about the eclipses and, 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 the, and the retrograde that's going on. It can bring these kind of people back into our lives. And, you know, but that's really what I'm seeing right here with this spread. And Pisces, you know, been through the battle with this person. Pisces blocked them. Because of the tower that went down. This was a tower that happened between these two. And the Knight of Pentacles talks about, well, forward movement. Because this old wounded warrior is holding that wand of passion in his hand. He's been through the battle, but he's always about, well, one last push. Let's see if we can manifest this this time. That's what I'm seeing with this spread. You know, the old wounded warrior is staring straight at this offer that's coming in. Could come in suddenly with that tower right there from a situation that ended in the past because there's only supposed to be two people here, but there was three people. You know, we got the hair front right there in the immediate future. You know, I'm going to be looking at this situation one more time. Keeping your eye on them, making sure they ain't a, that old player energy right there. The old wheels spinning in an upward direction. Because the universe is really trying to bring these divine unions together. It really is. They may have been gone for a while, and lots of these people have been. A lot of them have been gone for too long. Hmm. Let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. This is interesting. Uh, definitely talks about uh, the, the wheel again, the world. Completion of old cycles and new cycles coming in. Slow and steady. This is the only night that does cross the finish line. Let's keep our eyes on them, you know, eyes wide open. I know you are, if this is resonating with you and, the, and they have showed back up in your world. Oh, nine of wands coming in with an offer. I got a solid steady offer for you, Pisces. Can we get in the chariot and go forward again? You know, because the Three of Cups can talk about a reunion. Mm -hmm. The world card, completion of old cycles, new cycles coming in. But, you know, that has to do with you seeing yourself as that golden angelic being, seeing the world as your oyster. We have Four of Cups coming out after the world card, which is that. Card of reevaluation, definitely Pisces, and definitely the story that I see right here now that I look at these cards, sitting under that old oak tree, huh? Looking at love, past, present, projected future, and the old golden cup that's floating around up there. Pisces just taking a minute, you know. The universe is trying to show them there's a cycle change that's happened here. Pisces ain't jumping into this fire. They're not jumping into this fire real quick. Smart, you know. Let's go ahead and see if they're going to come in with that solid stable offer. That old Knight of Pentacles right there, huh? You know, if this is resonating with you, absolutely. Again, this person needs to restore trust, respect. And then comes ooey gooey, soft and chewy love, huh? Well, we got a King of Swords, so there's definitely going to be some communication but you know this King of Swords, he's protecting his heart right there. Like the Queen of Swords, um, he's kind of, you know, may seem cold and detached on the outside. But inside he's ooey gooey, soft and chewy, full of agape love. Interesting right here because that's about making head over heart decisions. Because, you know, Pisces, huh? Your heart, you know, this is the one to make the heart go boom, diddy, boom, diddy, boom, boom, boom. They may have been gone for a while, but the wheel got involved in this situation. And they may have showed back up suddenly. 
coming in with a solid offer. Ooh, Pisces, you're the one. The O'Hara found right there. Pisces looking at the situation like the Nine of Wands. Be like, well, let's make sure that this offer that you're coming in is solid. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. You know, I'm just not rushing into it. It's really what I see right here. Making a head over heart decision because there needs to be a lot of communication about what has happened, what is going to happen, all of that. Um, and let's take a look, you know, as we go through these eclipses right here. If this is resonating with you with that Mercury retrograde right in the middle of it. Because uh, definitely Pisces, you know, with Eight of Cups. This would tell me that in the past, if this is resonating with you, that Pisces walked away from this situation before because it was no longer emotionally fulfilling to them because they you know, three cup right there. That's really what I'm saying, you know. And if they're going to come in, you know, the old king right there, if they're going to come in and they're not going to do what they told you that they're going to do, make solid, steady movement toward a committed relationship with their Pisces right here, that Pisces is ready to pull the plug on the situation again. Nice. I love it for you, Pisces. It's solid, you know. It's really, really solid right here because this union is supposed to go all the way. If I'm resonating with you, you know exactly what I'm talking about. We got five of swords. You know, and that talks about doing what's best for you, setting yourself up in the front of the card, not going to play uh, this old game with this person anymore. You know, and that's the way to do it, even if it is one of these divine relationships. And we're all learning that, aren't we? Couple love cards on here for Pisces, please. Thank you, love team. Uh, this is my Romance Angels deck. I definitely put a different back on them. A little bit too much pink for old rambling. I love the old bling anyway, huh? Cut them down a little bit and all that stuff so they sit uh, nicely in my hands. Just wanted to tell you what I'm playing with. Right here it is, the uh, Romance Angels. I love cards on this little advice from my Pisces who definitely looks like they got an offer coming in from somebody. Uh, that you know that offer of the Hierophant right there because there is a there is a divine connection right here institution of the sacred the chariot the wheel two of cups the tower that's when all the work is done in these relationships is during these periods of separation Pisces is going to see if the work was done in that person during uh, the uh, well period of separation we do have flirt flirt showed up. I'll keep it light and easy. Somebody, definitely, we got three cards that jumped up right here. Flirt, you know, this old wounded warrior, you know, smile anyway, huh? Be light and easy. Eyes wide open, though, I see it. And because somebody, somebody needs to express their love, huh? Somebody needs to express their love. And uh, chemistry came out as well. A strong magnetic attraction right here. You know, and that's that old danger point, ain't it, huh? That's where we have to definitely learn to love ourselves more than that burning love that we have for this person right here. And, you know, this kind of burning love that we have for this particular person right here. It can be intense. So that is a whole hell of a lot of agape love that Pisces needs to continue to pour into themselves. Huh? Love yourself more than that burning love you have for them. Love the divine more than that burning love you have for them. Hopefully they'll catch the fever and they'll fall in love with themselves. Maybe that's begun to happen. And they'll fall in love with the divine. Huh? That makes that holy trinity, sacred masculine, sacred feminine, and the divine right here. It's a nice spread right here, you know. Let's see what happens, huh? Love yourself first and all that wonderful stuff. But you got the, the world right there and the wheel both showing up. The majors that I have on the spread are Taurus, Aquarius, Scorpio, Leo, Cancer. And, uh, you know, I see Saggy as well. May mean something, may not. Here we go. A couple... Uh, a couple majors overall, please. The moon card definitely talks about the cycles of the moon. And I got that moon right up there with the Eight of Cups, an eclipsed moon right here. Definitely the moon wants to show up, eyes wide open, huh? I'm loving it. Let's see, because the proof's in the pudding. 
We all know that right there. This talks about following somebody or something that's intriguing to you down that old smoky trail in hopes that on the other side of that smoky trail that the sun is shining over there. Looks to me like this person wants to show you that the potential for the sun to shine is here. You know, it looks like they're really going to try to show you that they've changed your Pisces. You know, uh, and uh, bottom of the deck is the chariot card came out again. It was the first card out. It'll be the last card in this spread. Uh, once again, this is Cancer. May mean something to you. This is Cancer Pisces as well. Interesting. You know, it definitely talks about victory. But setting your intentions about what you want to manifest. And, you know, this is a, this is a warrior chariot right here with my uh, David Bowie. You know, he's my warrior. He set his intentions about what he wants to manifest. He's not going to play this buck and bronco game anymore. If they want to come in, they need to show you that they want to come in and bring a change. I love it, though. You've got two victory cards in the situation. The Hierophant, the Wheel, the World. It's a nice spread, Pisces, you know. It's pretty much the whole energy that I've seen across the board here. The universe is doing their best to bring these divines back together. But whoever was being the knucklehead, they absolutely need to show themselves, don't they? Hey, Pisces, I hope you got something out of this. Namaste. Love and light, my friends. Talk to you soon, Pisces. Bye for now.